Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a redstone bank. Now you guys have been nagging me so much to do this tutorial. No lie, look at this, all these comments. You also left a ton of love. I said I would do the tutorial if I got 3,000 likes and you guys gave me like over 6,000, I'm pretty sure. So thank you guys so much. But let's not waste any time here. Let's go ahead, let's check this out real quickly. Now, if you want a full kind of look at this thing, I would go ahead and uh, I'll put a card up on the screen right now, which will take you to the showcase video. But this here is a working bank and pretty much what it adds in is safety boxes. Now, these safety boxes are password protected as well. So let's get started on how we actually interact with this. So the first thing that we need to do is register for an account. So we have to come over to here and as you can see, if this light is on, it means accounts are available. So to register for an account, you actually have to get 20 pieces of paper. So let's go ahead and let's get to that now. Paper, where are you at? Then once you've got that 20 paper, you need to go to an anvil and then rename this. So this is going to be your password. So mine is gonna be a snap that like button and let's grab that out then go ahead chuck this into this hopper here and then in a second here what this is going to do is register an our, our account and then it's also going to show us our safety deposit box and there it is so this is our box where we can store any items in so maybe you want to store your valuables we can actually go ahead let's get out some diamonds here we can pop this into this box here and then when we if we want to put it back into the system we have to we go ahead press this button here now you might have noticed that this light turned off well this means that all accounts have been registered so nobody else can actually register for an account now um, the system is completely full now you might be asking how do we retrieve those items back well we just simply get another piece of paper here write your pass we'll rename it to your password so snap that like button we chuck that into there and in a second here we'll get our box back with the diamonds we stored inside of it have a look at that now this is really cool because you can actually have multiple accounts so that, that was only one of the accounts in the system if i enter in another password here that i'm pretty sure is i love cheese this is another account, we'll pop that into there, and you'll see that it actually has different items in the box. So here it is, and have a look at that, we got a diamond chest plate, diamond sword, some dirt, and then the, some diamonds there, and let's send that back into the system. But that is how you use it, let's get into this tutorial now. Now if you guys enjoyed this redstone tutorial today, make sure you remember to go ahead and snap that like button, we need it snapped right in half. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest redstone tutorials, make sure you go ahead and subscribe as well. I suggest you press that post notification button so you definitely don't miss out on any new uploads. But let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. Now because this contraption is so complex, this is actually going to be a three stage tutorial. The first thing that we're going to learn how to build is the interface, then we're going to learn how to add in the account slots, and then finally kind of the remainder stuff such as sound and handling invalid items. So the materials that you are going to need is 10 redstone dust, 6 redstone repeaters, 1 redstone comparator, 1 dispenser, 2 droppers, 15 hoppers, 2 normal pistons, 2 redstone lamps, 1 button of your choice, I've just gotten a wooden one, 1 chest, one block of redstone and 64 blocks of your choice. Hashtag 64 blocks of your choice in the comments below. So the first thing that we're going to do is decide where we want the safety boxes to dispense from. Uh, this is just going to allow us to position this a whole lot easier. So if you're building this in your base, you can kind of accurately choose where you want this to be. So the first thing that we're going to do is just get out some of our blocks of choice here. And then we want our safety box to dispense from here. So either side of that block, we're going to do a three high pillar. Then one at the top there. So it's kind of like a door right now. Go inside of it and then dig one block down. We're then going to place a piston at the top here facing downwards. Now we can destroy that front block there. We'll patch that up later on. 
The next thing that we're going to do is place down our indicator light. So this is going to tell us if there's accounts available and if it's waiting for a deposit. So either side of this, what we're going to do is come to the edge, go one to the left, then one forward, place a block down, then a redstone lamp on top, and then we'll place a block on top. Do that exactly the same on the other side. So left and then forward, block down, redstone lamp on top, and then block on top of that. Now I just did say left here where that's actually right. <laughs> I know some of you guys are going to pick me off in the comments about that. Now next we've got to dig a 7 wide by 3 long by 2 deep hole. Now where we actually have to start this is over to the left of here. So we're going to be going 7 in that direction. So 1, 2, 3, already dug out, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we needed 3 long now. It's already got 1 out so we just need to go 2 more blocks towards the back. So 1, 2. And then we're going to go six in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just back to the start here. Dig out the center blocks. And then just dig this down one more layer. Now come into the hole and what we're going to do is come to the left side of our hole here. We're going to place a line of hoppers going along this bottom edge here. So start with the funnel pointing into this block over here. So crouch and then right click and then we're going to put one behind here, then one there. So the funnel should all be going in the direction towards the back. Then we're going to place a hopper here and then stop once we actually get under the piston here. Behind this hopper here we're going to place two droppers facing upwards. So crouch, then we're going to jump and right click and then do that again. So crouch, jump, right click. Then come to the front of our interface here and what we're going to do is place the dispenser on top of that dropper facing towards us. Now come around the back and what we're going to do is get our hoppers out again. We're going to place a hopper going into the left side of this bottom dropper here. So right click and then one going into this hopper here. So the funnels for these should go into that one and then into that bottom dropper. Now behind this dropper here, we're going to place a redstone comparator. Now it's going to be coming out of this hopper here, so place it facing towards the right there. We're going to lead that into a block. After that block, we're going to place a redstone repeater, lead that into another block. Then on top of that block, we're going to, be, we're going to place a piece of redstone dust. We're going to place a block above this repeater, so crouch, then right click. Then get our redstone repeater. Place it coming out of this block facing towards the left and put it on the max delay it can go. And then place a block after this with a piece of redstone on top. Now down in the hole here, what we're going to do is place a piece of redstone dust here and then one next to the repeater. Now you'll notice that this here connects up. We don't actually want that, so we're going to place a block above this redstone here which is going to cut it off. And then finally, we're going to place a redstone repeater going into this dropper here and then set the tick to one before the end here. So right click it twice. Now there's two things left to do here. We've actually just got to create the initial redstone for our indicator lights and then also just an input here. So what we're going to do is come over to this left indicator and stand on the block here just before the hole in line with the indicator. We're going to dig down two blocks and then the one to the right of the bottom block. Then let's come into the hole here and what we need to do is dig out this block here. Then the one to the left. Now we're actually going to have to destroy these two blocks above. Um, we're going to place a hopper going into this block here, a hopper going into that hopper and then we're going to lead that towards the front here. Keep going until we get under this block here place another hopper here and then finally let's place one on top of this hopper. Now this is where we actually throw in our piece of paper to create an account and also retrieve our safety box. This is just the kind of initial lane of hoppers here. Now we've actually got to create the redstone, initial redstone for our indicator lights here. So we're going to come to this left one first, place a block behind it, then we're going to go down to the right, diagonally down to the right here, place two blocks leave a space and then on this next block dig it out and then also the one to the right of it 
We're going to place redstone, not redstone, a redstone repeater going into the block that redstone is on there, and then after that, a piece of redstone dust. Now for the right indicator here, instead of placing a block behind it, we're going to do one down with a repeater on top of it going into it. Behind this block, we're going to place a piston facing upwards. And then on top of that piston, we're going to get our single block of redstone here, place it on top, and you'll notice the light is now on. Leading into that piston from the back, we're going to place a redstone repeater, block behind the redstone repeater and also on top, and then on those two blocks, place redstone dust. And then finally, almost forgot, we've got to place our button here at the top block, and uh, yeah, that should, push, that should push that piston down. My bad, we also need to change the delay of one of the repeaters here. So this one that is on the initial delay here, we want to set that to max delay. So right click it all the way to the end. So that is stage one complete. The next stage is to adding the account slots. So let's go ahead, let's get into this now. Now the materials I'm about to read out is only for one account slot. So if you want to have five accounts in this system, you'll need to times all these material counts by five. So the materials that you are going to need is 5 redstone dust, 3 redstone torches, 4 redstone repeaters, 5 redstone comparators, 3 droppers, 7 hoppers, 1 normal piston, 1 chest, and 64 blocks of your choice. So to start this off, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build one of these account slots. But I'm actually going to be adding in three in total. So what we need to do is come over to the right side here and where we actually need to start kind of this account slot array is this block here. So it's to the right of this hopper here. And then what we need to do is dig a 14 long, ho 14 long hole that's five blocks deep. Now we're going to have to dig it towards the left here. Now it might seem weird that you've got all this stuff in it, but it's not going to be complicated. So we're going to start here and we're going to dig 14 blocks towards the left. So think about this. So this is one. We've already dug out that one. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And it should align up with this last block here we dug out with the redstone. Then all we need to do is dig that down four more layers. Now, one thing just to be wary of is um, once you actually do start adding the second one in here, you don't want to destroy that block that the red the redstone repeater is on. There's already blocks there, but don't destroy them. So that's one layer. We've got three more to go. Now to probably make this easier, you'll probably want to dig out this all in one go. So if you were adding in five slots, you basically want to do this kind of hole here, this five long by 14 deep hole five times. So, we, so you would do it one, two, three, four, and five. So you'd be digging the hole all the way to this block here. Now I'm actually going to be adding in three account slots. So I'm going to do this whole process here again of digging a 14 by five deep holes. Now again, remember, don't destroy the block that that repeater is on, otherwise it's going to destroy the repeater. So the holes for my three account slots are now dug out. What we're going to do is build the first account slot here. So I'm going to come to the right side of the hole here and pretty much all these slots are in these rows here. So this is going to be the first account slot, this is going to be my second one, and then this is going to be my third. So this is how it goes. So we're going to place a block at the end here. We're going to place redstone on top of that block. We're going to have a redstone repeater coming out towards it, facing towards the left. A block above the repeater, and then one more towards the right there. And then lead that repeater into a block with a redstone torch on the other side. We're going to place redstone on top of this block here and then on this block we're going to have a redstone comparator 
facing into that redstone. Get a hopper and place it so the funnel is facing in towards this comparator. So we'll crouch and then right click the back of that. And as you can see, it's pointing into it. Now I'm going to build this if I was actually just had a one kind of um, hole here, not these two extra ones. So what I'm actually going to do is destroy that hopper for now. What we're going to do is place a chest here. So leave a gap from this block and place a chest right there. Then behind that chest, we're going to place a hopper going into it. And then a hopper going into that comparator. So the funnel should be facing to the left here and this one should be pointing in towards that chest. Now also at the top here we want to have a hopper going towards the back here. So we need to lead this hopper into the hopper leading towards the back here. Now if this was a one wide hole it would look something like this. So place it above this hopper here facing with the funnel facing towards the back. Now I made a slight mistake here, what we actually need to do is put this chest down one. Now I do realise that is a trap chest, but if you're actually building more than one slot, what you're going to need to do is alternate between a trap chest and a normal chest because you don't want these um, connecting up. But move that chest down one and then what we're going to do is place a hopper on top of this. So it's facing down into it, this one's facing into that. Then to the right of the chest we're going to place a block with a comparator coming out of this hopper. Lead that into a block, which on top of that block we're going to place a dropper facing upwards and then place a hopper leading towards the front above it. So we're actually going to be pasting it so it's facing into this hopper here. So crouch then right click. Now under that block that the comparator faces that the power the comparator goes into we're going to place redstone on the floor here we're then going to place two redstone repeaters a block another redstone repeater lead that into a block and then on top of this block here we're going to place a dropper facing towards us and then we need to place another one which fa which is facing into this one so come around the other side then place one like that, oops, not upwards. Face it into it, so the faces are now touching each other. Coming out of this dropper here, we're going to place a redstone comparator. Lead that into a block. Then on this back face of the block, place a redstone torch. Above that redstone torch, place a hopper, which leads into this dropper here. And then we need to place another hopper on top of here where the funnel is facing towards the back. So we're going to pretend this is a one wide hole so it looks something like this. Then place the hopper going into that back block there. And it should be, as I said, in the direction facing towards the back here. Now on this block we're going to place another redstone comparator coming out of that hopper there. Lead that into a block and place a piece of redstone dust on top. Now this is kind of strange, this is a part in the design which is actually going to change depending on the edition of Minecraft you are using. So if you're actually using the PC edition, what you need to do is above this dropper here, place a piston facing upwards. Now you might be thinking that's quite strange, well there's this weird bug slash feature in the Java edition called Quasi Connectivity and strangely, strangely enough this block here will actually power this dropper. Now the only way it will do that is, we, is if we actually cause a block update. Now you might be thinking why can't I just extend this block here over to there and put redstone on top of it. Wouldn't that power that block which therefore would power the dropper below. Um, the problem with that is that's also going to power this dropper here and we don't want that. So that's why we kind of have to do this. Now if you are on the console or any other edition besides Java. What you want to do instead is destroy this block, place a block here and then put redstone on top. Now you might need an extra piece of redstone dust for this. I just kind of preferred the materials to be for the Java edition. Now I actually haven't tested this on the console edition so I can't confirm it works but this would in my mind be the fix for it. Now we're just going to take this back and put it the piston there instead because of the one we're using for the Java edition. Then finally what we want to do is after this dropper here we're going to place a block on the ground, redstone comparator coming out of it, 
lead that into a block, then on top of that block, redstone torch, block on top, and then a piece of redstone dust. Now we actually want this redstone, or well, this torch here, to be turned off, so what we're going to do is place one of our blocks of choice inside this dropper here. Now two more things we need to do, we need to add in our shulker box. Now I didn't really include this on the material list just because it's kind of a configuration part of this build. But you need to get a shulker box and then place that into this dropper here. So that is the one located pretty much in the center of the slot here. Then over here what we actually need to do is in this dropper here which is or this hopper here facing into the comparator what we need to do is get out four cobblestone or you can even use your blocks of choice if you want to then you're also going to need to go to an anvil and what we need to do is rename those four blocks to a really kind of random string of characters we don't want this to be actually um, for someone to be able to guess this so just spam it with a bunch of things and that's pretty much the most hardest password in the world now if you're building more than one slot uh, it'd probably be best to just to rename a whole stack of cobblestone but once you've got that cobblestone what you want to do is place four of the blocks in the four remaining slots like that so one in each of these four remaining slots then in the first one here we're actually not going to place anything because this is how the registering system actually work. Now I'll explain later on in this tutorial how this all works um, and why there isn't that an item in that first slot. So that is one account slot complete. What we're going to do this is build this two more times. So I'm just going to really kind of going to do this really quickly. So we're going to have uh, repeaters there. It's pretty much just copying all this again. So blocks there. Redstone comparators torches we're gonna to have chests here now as I mentioned you're gonna to have to alternate the chests here um, so they don't actually connect together so you would need to actually get a chest and also trap chests hoppers lead them into those comparators and then we're going to place two here. Blocks. Comparators. Lead them into a block. We're going to pop a dropper on top facing upwards. Lead hoppers going towards the front here above the droppers. We're going to have redstone under the block. Two repeaters for each one here, facing towards the left, lead them into a block. Repeaters, block, dropper, dropper again, facing into each other. Comparator, lead that into a block, which behind it we have a redstone torch. Above that redstone torch, two hoppers going into those droppers, and then we're having these hoppers above these ones leading towards the back. Redstone comparator on top of these blocks facing towards the left. Lead them into a block with redstone on top. Now again, um, make sure you're using the correct version for the correct edition of Minecraft. So this is the PC one, but if you're using the console or any other one besides Java, you want to do blocks here with redstone on top. Then come down here two blocks, comparator, lead them into a block which has a torch on top, blocks above it, redstone on top of these blocks, then also just place one of your blocks of choice inside of these droppers. And then again we'll have to rename some blocks here, so let's get out an anvil and let's just rename some of these our blocks of choice here. Then place three, I mean four, in the four last slots. 
So that is how you build the account slots. What we're going to do is go into the next stage, which is teaching you guys kind of how to build the remaining components for this system because we're almost done. Just a couple more things we got to do. So for the last stage of this tutorial, the materials that you are going to need is some redstone. Now there is no set amount here because it really depends on how many account slots you've added in. You're going to also need three redstone repeaters, three redstone comparators, six hoppers, one chest, five note blocks, three planks. Now you do need this because it produces a different note sound and then also 64 blocks of your choice. So to finish this off, we're gonna head around to the back here and we actually need to dig an eight wide by three long by four deep hole. Now where we need to start this is right at the back here. So this should be the last um, account slot here. You wanna to come to this back right block here. Then we're gonna dig out this block, go two blocks forward, and then let's go seven blocks to the left here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two back, two towards the front here, and then go back to the start there. Dig out the blocks in the center. And then we just need to dig this down three more layers. So the first thing that we're going to do is hook up this redstone here to this redstone there and this is just going to trigger the account available indicator. So what we're going to do is instead of having redstone here we're actually going to first place a redstone repeater coming out like that facing towards the back, lead that into a block, then we're going to bring up that up diagonally to the left here and then also one more and then we just need to put one in between the two blocks there like that. Let's get our redstone out and place it along here. Now again this really depends on how many accounts you've added so let's say you've added in 10 you want to extend this out until how long it takes you to get to the end. Um, you're kind of going to have to figure that out self out but but the whole idea is you want to be able to connect this redstone down here to that one there. Now we're going to build the kind of invalid items. So these are items that kind of don't get filtered in any way because they're not kind of supposed to be in the system. So what we're going to do is at the back here, we're going to, where we've got these comparators here, place a chest at the back, two hoppers on top. Then we're going to place two hoppers to the right and then two hoppers to the left. Now how these items lead up into here is from these hoppers here, goes down into there, down into the chest. This one here comes along from that, goes along here, goes to the left, and then down into the chest. Now we're also gonna produce some sounds if an invalid item comes into the system. So what we're going to be doing is, at these two end hoppers here, we wanna place a block diagonally down towards the back here lead a redstone compar comparator coming out of them. Then we're going to place a spruce or our plank here, the three planks that we chose. One there, leave a gap, another one, leave a gap and then another one. Three note blocks on top, blocks in between and then here we're going to have a redstone repeater going into the center one either side. Now this is kind of where you can choose your tone but I'm just going to right click this first one four times, so one, two, three, four. And then the same with this one, one, two, three, four. Now we've also got another indicator here, and this is just to notify that a safety deposit box is actually coming out. So right at the front here, where we have this kind of comparator and that repeater there, um, the block that the comparator is on, place a block behind it. We're gonna have a comparator coming out of this hopper here lead that into a note block and make sure there's no block underneath because this is going to give the kind of um, the high pitch tune of the note block. We're going to place a note block down here, oh, not a note block, just a regular block. 
and then after that place a note block here and we're going to lead a redstone repeater into that one from the other one then we're actually going to right click this one here four times one two three four now you, again you can choose what the tone of these will be these are the, just the kind of ones i like now believe it or not that is everything complete now it is time to spruce this up a little bit so what we're going to do is just get out some blocks here i'm just going to um, place them along the front here make it look a little bit nice now it is a good idea to actually build this up against a wall so your wall would actually be um, at this layer here so this would be your wall where you continue along in your base but let's just destroy those blocks I placed let's have three over this other side um, if you're building this behind a wall, there's not really it's not really necessary to cover up everything, but you can if you want. So you could cover this all up here. Um, the only redstone you do need to worry about cutting off is right over here, where we have the connection going up to the accounts available indicator light. So if I was to place a block there, I've just cut off the redstone. So don't place a block there. I should also mention don't place a block above the note blocks otherwise they won't actually play. Now I'm not going to cover this fully up because uh, I'm going to be ripping it up in a second here. Now before I teach you guys how this actually works I'm just going to quickly test if it works and I'm really hoping it does this is going to be first try um, and if it does that means um, it should have worked for you guys as well. So let's get 20 pieces of paper out here let's register an account then let's chuck this into the system and then we should here we will we should get our safety deposit box I'm really hoping that this will work and there it is it looks like it is working so we can go ahead we can pop items into here and then we can send them back and there we go it is in the system and I'm happy it looks like it's working but what I'm gonna do now is teach you guys how this actually works So here is the contraption out of its shell and I'm going to explain how this actually works and so what we're going to do is we're going to start with registering an account here. So what happens when we actually register an account is we throw in these 20 pieces of paper and what they're going to do is travel through these hoppers here, go along and then it's going to come over to this hopper here and this is kind of the first account um, slot here. Now. Now basically what we have here is an incomplete item sorter and this kind of gives the impression that we can actually create an account. So we throw in these 20 pieces of paper and what happens is they will go into these hoppers below if there is that free slot in the first slot of the hopper here. So as you can see this first one we have our account here already registered with awesome as the password. This next one here has a free slot so this means an account can be registered. And then same with this last one here, it's got a free slot. Now what happens when we actually fill them all up? So what we're going to do is just create two stacks of paper here. So we're going to create two accounts here just to show you that the indicate what the indicator light here does. So we're first going to chuck in password and we'll make sure we'll watch this register. So as you'll see, it's now going into this hopper here. Now if there is 19 of these items in here this comparator is going to start sending out a signal strength of 2 which means it's going to go down to this redstone. That redstone there then triggers the repeater below it powering the block in front of it which the torch behind it will get turned off and that allows one of these items from here so if there's 19 in it it will go back down to 18. It lets that through into the system and then as you can see in this chest here uh, we will have one of these password pieces of paper in there. Now as it passes through and goes down into the chest, these comparators here are going to pick that up, which sends a signal into this block. Connected to this block we have a dropper which has the shulker box in it. Now if we go back to the start here, you'll notice that we do have the shulker box here now because we registered an account and then it came up with our safety box here. We'll get back to that in a second here. So that shoots the shulker box up and then that takes it towards the front. We'll get into that in a second here. But also here we have... 
So this shoots the shulker box up when it powers that block and that takes it to the front here. And basically this leads into a dropper um, down below here, which what will happen is we're actually detecting when an item is just about to go into that bottom dropper with this comparator here. So these comparators starting from this one lead up to the front here and then into that bottom dropper. We detect that an item is just about to go into it through this comparator here, which powers this block, which under this block here we have a redstone repeater. That leads into this block at the end which has redstone on top. This redstone here powers this block, powering that repeater, and then powers this top dispenser. Now, at the same, well, before that happens, we're also powering this redstone here, which powers the dropper here, which has the shulker box inside of it, and that sends it up to this top dispenser. And then this kind of process here happens where it powers the dispenser and shoots the shulker box off here. Now coming back over here, we mentioned that these comparators power this block and then it powers that dropper, but it also powers redstone under the block, which that actually sends a signal out into these repeaters, into the block in front of it, which then the repeaters after those blocks get powered, and that powers the corresponding dropper block here. Now you'll notice that this middle one here doesn't have anything in it, and that's because the item has been put into the dropper it is facing into. So you remember there's one on the other side here. And as you can see, it is getting a signal here from that dropper indicating that there's an item in it. This leads into a block which behind it um, is a redstone torch. And as you can see, it is turned off. This is so it knows which um, dropper here to go back into when we actually send it back into the system. So this, when we actually press this button here, it's going to break the shulker box. It's going to go into the hopper below, which is going to travel along the top here. Now it's already done it quickly, but it knew to go back into this middle one here. And then basically we reset the item in the dropper here, which was in that middle one, back into this side over here. And um, it now powers this comparator, which turns off the torch. Now I should show you that um, this other indicator light here is just an indication that it's waiting for the shulker box to come back. So you'll see now that we've just registered our last account and pretty much back over here when this actually goes into the other dropper, um, this comparator turns off allowing this torch to come on and simply just powers this light and indicates that we're waiting for a box to come back into the system. You'll also notice that the accounts available light is now off and this is because when we create the account it triggers this redstone, this last redstone here, sending a signal out this way which then powers this repeater, powers that piston which pushes a redstone block up and we've kind of got a lock system here so this powers that, that redstone block powers the redstone and kind of repeats that circuit so this piston will always be up once this um, redstone here is powered. Because the block is no longer next to the repeater, um, it will no longer power the lamp. Now just a quick break from the tutorial here, I did kind of discover in the future of this recording that you also need to do one more thing if you are on the any other edition besides the Java one. Um, I do notice that when you actually dispense shulker boxes from dispensers that they'll be facing upwards, so this piston is basically blocking its access from being opened. You're unfortunately going to have to actually dis destroy this piston um, and then also destroy this kind of block up this button here, you no longer need it. Then basically you have access to the shulker box. Now the way you just destroy it is to just destroy it as, norm as a normal block. Um, it will drop as a block and then fall down into this hopper below which will then it will go back into the system. Now one last thing you might want to do in this is actually just add some signs here so it's accounts available and then um, this might be pending pending deposit and then also something I like to do is get a chest here place it there and then also get some paper out and then just pop into the chest there just for people to use and maybe also leave an anvil around there as well. 
So that's going to end off this redstone tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. Then go ahead and check out one of these videos. This one on the left here is another redstone tutorial. Then the one on the right is a video personalized for you. But I will see you guys later. Bye.